When you think of an alternate Superman, you think of the boys Homelander and Invincible's Omni-Man, and rightfully so, those guys are iconic characters and I really love them. But I'd argue, despite not having that much screen time, Megamind's Metro Man deserves to be on that list, being the most underrated alternate Superman in fiction. First, Metro Man has just a lot of charm and charisma, and it just makes it really fun to watch whenever he's on screen. Makes sense since he's voiced by Brad Pitt, and he has the face of Markiplier, which is such a crazy combo to this day. Next, the dude is just overpowered. He was able to rethink his entire life in the span of what seemed like seconds, and he was able to plan his own death too, and to how to fake it, which is still so funny to me, really. Honestly, the best part of Metro Man is that he's just a guy who wants to find his purpose, like Megamind. In fact, he's the perfect foil for Megamind. But unlike other alternate Superman, he isn't evil, but he's understandably selfish because he wants to find and do his own thing, like Megamind. And that's why he picks music, because he's not very good at it, and so he can actually work on it for once. If it weren't for Metro Man having an existential crisis, Megamind wouldn't have done the same thing and we wouldn't have this gem of a story. Therefore, that's why Metro Man is the best.